Hello guys, today we learn how to get the JSON data from Web API and save it into Excel file. For this, we will require Visual Studio 2015 MVC5 version. Also, we need Web API URL like localhost, API imply list, and method name get. When you consume the Web API, this Web API, we get the data in JSON format like below imply ID name salary imply ID name and salary like 101 102 103 and 104 now our aim to save this JSON data into Excel like below here is Excel Excel file like you can see this data will be saved in Excel format like employee details. We have put here date and employee ID, name, and salary like 101 ADM 20, 102 KN 30, 103 AD 25. So you can see our main aim to save the data into Excel file. From the JSON file, JSON which we can use from the web API. Now I have to write the code to consume the data then after that we will save it. Let us see the real example. Open Visual Studio like open file your project. Take a console application and put the name of the project like convert JSON data. Click OK button. So first here I have to write the code to consume the web API which return the data in JSON format. So let us see. Like I have write one function consume web API dot wait then implement this method. So you can see here where client equal new HTTP client first you need to add the namespace for this like net HTTP and after that client not based this new URI and that is a URL web API URL then client dot default request shader accept dot clears client dot default request shader accept media type quality with header application JSON so also need to add namespace for this like HTTP headers then I have write one thing HTTP response message response await client get async method and that is the API method like API employee lists after that when the gateway when we get the response like response each success stated code then we get the data then we get the data like put here dynamic result equal to our tson dot content did string essence that data will store in the result variable after that when we get the data and the result in json format that json format will be converted first into data table so i have write here data table need to add name space for data table see system dot data so data table dt data table json convert deserialize object that json deserialization will convert json to into data table so also need to add name space for json json so there is no no name space here so need to add newton soft for json name space adding go to tools click put here return soft check it and install it and so now add to nemesis you have added the library for return soft and then add the nemesis so you can see here using newton soft json nemesis will be showing now then click on this so newton soft json will be added here now run the application check whether your data will be coming or not so make a debug point here 
also need to run the this web api which are already we have developed on local machine so first go open visual studio and web api sample now here our web api which produce the json like api route prefix api imply and that is the method name list run this here you run the application which return the web api as a json format so now i have to run client application like this is client application we get the result from the client so run again now press f10 you can see here get the response like status code 200 you can see here real you get the result in json format after that that json will be converted into the data table using the newton soft so i have used here data table json convert dot serialize object result and type of data table so that will be converted into data table so run this after running we can check whether data is available or not in dt so you can see here data is available in the data table now that data table will be converted will that data table value will be saved into excel sheet so now i have to write the code write that data into the excel sheet so i need to write some code like we have added a utility so first some code to write the data into excel so add here one utility like utility name like utility class so now add a one utility class where we can add some code to data export in the excel so add and click on add button so here utility class will be created now i have to write some code like this one already ready have written so need to copy and paste see here i have paste the code here now I have made this code for generic so that can be available in every in every pages. So see here public bool from data table to Excel. Put here data table name, worksheet name, location path we need and report type means what we have give the address of the report so let us see first you see data table need to add a name space for this system data also i need microsoft office interlab excel so copy this one and add through the new get package like go browse and click here this one you get microsoft office into interlab.excel now install it this package so that package will be installed installation done for this package also we need one more namespace like doing.common so also need to add this library through the new get package go like system drawing click on install so you have a two package library like microsoft excel and a rich drawing now i have to see here i write microsoft office interrupt.excel application excel define object 
for workbook i have defined excel workbook object for worksheet i have defined excel sheet and then then i have excel range then i have put here try and catch like we have defined a short excel and get application object then define excel new microsoft office interlope.excel.application for making excel visible you can write here excel visible equal to false excel display alerts false we have need to define also creation of new workbook excel workbook excel.workbook.add type missing then worksheet excel sheet equal microsoft office intro web excel worksheet excel workbook dot active sheet we have to write down then excel workbook dot sheet name worksheet name which coming from the back from the here then excel sheet range report type i will define then excel sheet one tool i have defined in second cell date and here i have adding some code to add the data like data row data row in data table you get the data from the data table and define the count plus equal to one it will increment then after that i equal to i i less than data table dot column dot count i plus plus it will goes up to the column level where how many columns there on the first iteration where the column header like if row count equal to three then column name will be added then color black after that i have defined excel sheet dot cell row count i data row i minus one data means which data will coming it will be goes here update if alternate rows i have defined if row count greater than three i equal to data table column count if divide by two then excel range you have defined here excel sheet range and also calling on the excel sheet formatting excel sheet we have defined a function here so when the loop will be the running row row and column wise it will write the data into the excel sheet one by one through this through this way you can see excel sheet. now this uh, sometimes you need to resize the column so i have write code excel cell and excel sheet range sheet and row count data table row count and after that your entire column auto fit it will be auto fill will be converted and also you have defined borders like cell border range borders and then line x line that excel continuous so border line will be defined and border will like to be defined after that you have write some code now save the workbook and exit excel so excel workbook dot save as location path where we have to save the excel and excel dot workbook dot close excel dot quit so for location through saving the excel i have see here go to program here is a utility i have defined here now go to programs and i make object of this like need a utility class ut class object equal to new utility class and after that i made object dot form data table it is a function which i have implemented here from data table to excel and go there from data table to excel that is need a required dt here imply details means worksheet name i have put here and location path and report type so here imply details and location path i have given like projects web api convert data table to excel convert data table to excel bin debug test and 
I put here test three dot accessor and then put the details like I, you can put employee report name employee right click and open the folder open folder in file locations and go to bins then debug then you must have location must have excel file need to also write x dummy file like test 3 and file the full find the full location this location then after test 3 put in the debug folder so that there is no issue of permission so go to here to debug and then our file name test3.xl need to double backward so that it cannot give the error so you can see our file is ready to write data into excel sheet so first need open the excel sheet test dot xls you can see there is no data in it so now run the application and see whether our application is running properly or not get the data table then make object of utility also you can put here save so means there is no error means that path data will be written in the test dot xls f10 press F10. Now there is no error. Read key F10. Put any key. Now check the Excel sheet whether data is coming or not. You can see our data which are present in data table can be written in the Excel sheet like employee detail and date, employee ID 101, ADM, their salary. So this way you can save the data into excel which are coming from the web api uh, and that a uh, web api written json format json string will be converted into first data table after data table will converted into the excel thanks for watching if you want to view more videos please subscribe my youtube channel